same I'm doing fine I'm feeling great You're not my fan You can't relate Straight talk going Stay not safe Before you cross me Look both ways Leaving the scene With no trace None in my lead You out of place I'm not at the top I'm out of space Can't eat with us We're out of place I'm doing fine I'm feeling great You're not my fan You can't relate Straight talk going State to state Hey guys, what's going on? It's your host, your boy, George McKay, Straight Talk Wrestling, back here, and I got a good one. I actually got a special one. I have uh, an early on guest of mine. I uh, had a couple challenges last year, but he's here to join me today to talk about it. You can see it on the screen. It's none other than Scotty O'Shea, the hacker, aka Curtis Sturrock. How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? I'm great, man. I'm great. I'm really happy that you could join me again. Uh, it's been a long time since we talked, but um, last year you had... Uh, had a challenge around Thanksgiving and yeah. um, luckily enough, blessed enough. Brain tumor. Yeah. Brain tumor. <laughs> uh, blessed enough that you were able to make it through the surgery. Yeah. And you're, you're now on the road to recovery. And yeah. uh, I want to ask you uh, how things are going, how things are progressing. Cause every day I see it on Facebook looks a little bit stronger every day. Like you're coming back to your, your old self, even better. Yeah. If I may yeah. say. So. I feel fucking awesome right now. That's, you know, that's an incredible answer, man. That's an incredible answer. And um, uh, the outpouring that was given, uh, the outpouring that was sent your way, all the prayers, all the love from everyone around the wrestling world, and especially here at home in the Ontario indie wrestling community. Uh, it must have been awesome for you to it see. Was. That, right? Yeah. Fucking awesome. I <laughs> want to say thank you, too. Uh, you know what, man? It, it, we we all we all did everything we could. Like everything that was there, there was a calendar that was set up by Jeffrey Cole shooting the Indies. Uh, without, I mean, us personally here at Straight Talk Family, without a second question, we said, "Let us know how much and when." Want to send whatever we can to help, and uh, I mean, it's a great calendar. There are some faces on there that aren't easy to look at, like a John Greed. But you know, I just, <laughs> I just, I just plaster over that picture. I just looked at the dates, really. That's fine. <laughs> but um, you know, I did have, uh, I did have Bone Crusher. Oh yeah. Steve Brown. Steve Brown. Yeah, I had Steve Brown on the show recently. And awesome. uh, we actually talked about you and talked about everything. And Steve said that it was it was a hard day to get that text message from Mrs. Hacker, if you will. Uh yeah. everything could have gone down. And um I know that you and Steve are you know very, very close as we well as you. yeah. Uh how's it been uh seeing everyone again again as you're on this road to recovery? Uh it's been unreal. I haven't seen him in forever. I'm sure he, I'm sure without a doubt, he'll make his way down there soon. I know yeah. he said, I know he said in the interview that uh, he hasn't got down there as long, as much as he would like to, but I yeah. know it's, I know it's weighing on his mind. Yeah. But I do know that, uh, I, I do know that Jeff T. Smith, Sunset Crypt, all mm -hmm. that stuff you guys used to all do together, you, Steve, and, uh, and him, I know he's made it down a few times and yeah. uh, it must be good, you know, being able to chop it up, talk in movies yeah. and all that kind of stuff again. Yeah, it's very good. Absolutely. Have you watched anything new and exciting this while you've been on this road recovery? I mean, that's what I would do if I once I was able to, you know, kind of move around and stuff like that. Yeah. I would want to be catching up on all the stuff that I I'm did. Just watching AEW. AEW? All the time. Yeah. yeah. And who you who you digging in AEW right now? Who you like in MJF? I would assume. No, hey, no. Oh, oh. I, I think I struck a nerve. <laughs> you said that with so much conviction. Like, no, absolutely not. <laughs> Well, who are you digging? Um, Kenny Omega. Yeah. My favorite. Like all time favorite or just all favorite? time? All time favorite. What about Kenny Omega is is something that you, I guess, connect with as a fan? He just wrestles nice. Fun. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really can't say that. He, he's cool. But did you ever, do you notice? I mean, you're a Kenny Omega fan. So maybe yep. you do. Do you notice that in AEW, it seems like we don't get the New Japan Kenny Omega? No. It's no, crazy. You don't feel that, eh? You, you feel Not at all. Different. Yeah. He, I don't know what it is, but when he's in New Japan, I feel like he hits different, literally. And yeah. different. <laughs> Why do you think that is? Do you think he just kind of half-asses it out here? I'm mean, not trying to create controversy or anything like that, but what do you think? I just really don't know. I have no idea why Russ is worse here. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, that is the truth. He does. So <laughs> <laughs> absolutely but he did have he did have that one hell of a title run with uh that those handlebar mustaches i mean curtis come on you gotta have to you must have dug on the handlebars yeah totally <laughs> what about movie wise or tv show i mean other than they is there any big any good movies that you've seen lately i know you're a big movie guy 
horror. horror. I watched a ton of horror. Yeah, oh yeah. Dude. Yeah. You're talking to a big horror fan all the time. I think the last time we <laughs> talked up a couple of years ago, we went on and on about Freddy Krueger and Michael. Have you seen the new, have you seen the final chapter of the new Halloween series? Yes. And it was oh, terrible. Wow. Yeah. Wow. If Jeff, when Jeff watches this, he's going to be very, well, I'm sure you probably spoken to him about it. <laughs> yeah. So we talked about it. We actually did a deep dive and mm -hmm. at its core, we kind of both agreed. And it's very rare that Jeff and I do agree. We have a love hate <laughs> relationship, Jeff and I. But we um, we really talked about at its core how it's kind of a love story. At least the third chapter was. Did you really? Get that? Did you get that? At, well, I mean, well, between between uh, you know Jamie Lee Curtis's granddaughter or Laurie Strode's yeah, yeah. granddaughter, and yeah. that other kid who was kind of going to become the second coming of Michael before Michael yeah. killed him. Yeah. At its, at it, well, actually, before Laurie killed him, I should say. Yeah. At its core, I mean, there was that love story aspect. That there was one. You'd never really see that in a horror movie. No, never. So it was, I mean, it was kind of, I guess, I wouldn't say refreshing, mm -hmm. but it was different. Yep. It was different. I, 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 you know what? I enjoyed it. I think Jeff enjoyed it too, but I can understand that there is a lot of people out there that did not enjoy it. And I'm a big, I'm a big, hot, like Michael's, Michael's it for me. Michael and Freddie, they're my one and two. So yep. I could see how people, uh, people feel the same way you do probably. Yeah. And a lot more like you were just like, no, I didn't like it. That's fine. You were respectful. There's a lot of people who are like, uh, everyone that made this film should die a horrible death quickly and painlessly. So <laughs> that's true. But how is, um, to get back on you for a second, how is recovery going? How is, you know, I mean, I know you have a great support system with your family, with, yeah. with the missus and the kids and everything like that, but how yeah. is recovery going for you? Jeez. The slow recovery. Yeah. It's way too slow. But you're giving it your all. I I, yeah. I, I do see that. It's yeah. just, did you, in the recovery process, because of how enlarged the tumor was and the bleeding and stuff like that, yeah. have you pretty much had to reteach yourself a lot of everything? everything. Yeah. So walking, talking, yeah. all that stuff. And not so much talking. Not, yo, yeah, I can <laughs> see you. I can see you definitely still have the gift for the gab, but I guess- <laughs> Like simple things that I guess we all take for granted, right? Yeah. And that's, and I guess that's, is that, that probably gets frustrating at times, right? It's fucking infuriating. Yeah. But at the same time, I mean, you have that great support system that's around, yeah. right? And I could tell, like, I mean, I could tell that the missus, uh, she doesn't, she doesn't quit on you. She's <laughs> like, hey, you're frustrated. You got to do something about it. You got to get, you got to, you got to figure it out, right? Yep. And that's, and that's, that's amazing to have. That's amazing. Yeah. To have. Because uh, you know what they say behind every great man? Which you are. There's a there's an even better woman, and it's the truth. <laughs> I have it. You have it. Yeah. It, it comes down in spades. But yeah, I guess not to try to get too personal. And if I'm out of line, please let me know. But what has been the most challenging thing to kind of reteach yourself? Walking. Walking. That I go been. nuts. Yeah. Because something simple as getting up to get a drink or getting up, yeah. to, getting up to go to the bathroom. That's it's yeah. A challenge, right. It's terrible. Yeah. But what are the doctors saying? Like. Uh, progression wise are you progressing at the normal cycle or even a little bit ahead i think so yeah yeah well you know what i i think uh it's commendable and it's mm -hmm. amazing that what you've gone through and what you're going to do i guess my my big question is um i mean not stepping through the ropes anytime soon but have you been able to make it out to any shows to kind of relive uh you know what you what you missed out for the better part of a year and a bit now no no i haven't gone out to any shows yet eh I'm tr I'm struggling with memory. Right, right. So a lot of times you don't really even remember parts of your career. Am I yeah. right? Yeah. Yep. Do you do you remember that you you were a wrestler at one point? Absolutely. So you do remember that, but just yep. a lot of it gets foggy. Yeah. So when 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 you're like, is it short term memory that it, you you're having, or is it long term? Short term. It's a short term. Yeah. So you you remember things from years ago, but yeah everything something recent it's hard for you no idea no idea wow that's uh that's a lot so i guess it takes the missus and the family and everything to kind of kind of yeah. almost like uh not to not to again not to sound uh disrespectful but kind of like a 50 first date sometimes you got to get re-caught up on stuff right <laughs> yep is that is that's that a good analogy is. is that a good analogy <laughs> that is a great analogy <laughs> so in a way mm -hmm. your 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 wife is your wife is adam sandler and she you are great. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. So 
let me catch you up on a couple things. Uh, Snoop Dogg did quit weed for a little bit, and then he started smoking about an hour later. So that, uh, <laughs> that uh, I mean, yeah, that's not a shocker to anybody. <laughs> Speaking of Adam Sandler, now Adam Sandler is um, one of my personal favorites in terms of uh, his his comedic styles and his movies. His Netflix yep. stuff I find a little bit questionable. Me too. It, it, his Netflix stuff is hard to get through sometimes, eh? Yeah. And it's not, I don't know what it is because it's still Happy Matterson produced his production, yeah. effort, but I don't know, man. It just, I feel like after he tried to win the Oscar with Punch Drug Love, which is one of my favorite films of his, I feel like he just stopped caring. I know. It's fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> don't you hate that when I can't like, stand it? When somebody gets a little bit of success and it's almost like yeah. they forget where they came from and how yeah. they started. Yeah. Oh, I, I tell you right now, if Chris Farley was alive, he'd be he'd be so embarrassed of Adam Sandler right now. He'd be like, you're not, my <laughs> you're not my friend. You're whatever's happening here on this Netflix thing. You're, it's no good. It's no good. He hasn't. Uh, I don't think he's made it. You know what? There's some movies that I look back at and I'm like, these were OK. And then there's some I look back that are classics. Like, I mean, what's your do you have an all time favorite Adam Sandler movie? The golf one. Happy Gilmore. Whatever that's called. Happy Gilmore. Yeah, that's yeah. a great one. That's a great one. I uh I would say for me it's um I'm a big fan of well, like I said Punch Truck Love, but I also do enjoy Billy Madison. I mean the fact you had to go back to high school or go back to school period and re <laughs> repeat every grade. Yeah, I mean that's hard, especially when your when your teacher's as good looking at his as his teacher was in that movie. <laughs> that sucks. You're an adult, you can't do anything about it. Horrible, <laughs> very very horrible. So what um other than walking being a challenge, like what are you doing in your in your downtime, I know there have been a couple interviews. There have been some great in-depth articles with how you're progressing and how you're doing. But I mean, obviously, I would say Facebook that probably yep. keeps you up to date on a lot of stuff and yep. reconnecting. Like, do you remember all the friends in your life? All of them? Well, I mean, not okay. Sorry, let me rethink <laughs> that. Do you remember all the people that you were close to? Like those yep. you haven't forgotten, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's huge. That's yeah. Huge. And uh, I mean, I guess to what was it like waking up from the surgery and kind of seeing all those, like all the love that was was being shared and all the prayers that were sent your way? It was overwhelming. Yeah, like very overwhelming. In, in, in what ways? Like, did did you really? Did you? Th was it like, oh my god, I can't believe all these people that I don't even know. Care exactly. About so yeah, much. That, that's, that's what it exactly. was. Exactly. Yeah, but you know what? When tragedy, when when situations like that happen. Mm -hmm. I think you find out exactly how much you meant to a lot of people. Yeah. And, uh, you know, not to be cliche in any way, but uh, I don't really realize how important you, you might even think you are to a man like myself. I, I listen to your podcast all the time in my, <laughs> in my starting days and yeah. was actually listening to your stories and, and wrestling with myself and all that stuff that I was like, you know what, man, I got to get into this game. I got to <laughs> get into it. I got to, I got to start having conversations with people like this. So I remember when, um, when I reached out to you on Facebook and I asked you, I said, Hey, you know, the first time around, I said, Hey, would you mind coming on the show? You were like, absolutely done. Tell me when, <laughs> tell me where I will be there. And that for me was like bucket list. It was one of the bucket list conversations <laughs> I had. And even when I reached out, cause I wasn't sure how the progression was and I wasn't yeah. sure how things were going. And this is much like our first time around. This isn't an interview. This is just a conversation to figure yeah. out exactly where you are right now. And, um, mm -hmm. You're you were a big inspiration to me, Curtis. I told you that last <laughs> time, and I mean that now, man, with all my heart. And to be able to talk to you again, to wrap it up like this, it's amazing. I absolutely <laughs> this is a, this is going to be the coolest moment of my day, honestly. <laughs> and it's been a long day. Let me and I, I have to I have to tell the fans at home right now. I screwed up the time. Curtis was gracious enough to agree to the conversation, and I sent him a link for an hour earlier. And then I'm like, hey, Curtis, I'm ready. And then I'm like, oh crap, I said three o'clock. So. Thank you for coming back at three o'clock. I appreciate it. <laughs> you think your memory's bad. Dude, I don't even remember what happened five minutes ago. I'm so tired these days. Join the club. Yeah. I've <laughs> I feel this is this is awesome, man. You're Thank you me. have not, I don't care, man. You have not lost your edge. You're just as witty <laughs> as ever. You're just as witty as ever. You know what? Um, Steve Brown actually told me a, a great story about all the time how you would just send him random memes. <laughs> out of nowhere you would just drop him like the most random memes ever and it would yeah. and it, it would, would always be a perfect time it's like he could be having the worst day having the worst day spilled his coffee in his car <laughs> on his way to work anything and then boom ping there's a notification on the phone and there's just a random meme from from always uncensored always of course it, there, <laughs> is there is curtis i mean let's be honest is there any other kind of meme than uncensored? never they're not okay 
Thank you. A lot of people don't understand that memes, they should just be uncensored. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I get it. Everyone's oversensitive. But if you know someone, you know them. And if they send you an uncensored meme, just appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> don't get in. You know what I mean? God, people don't. See, that's why, that's why, Curtis, that's why you and I, we have this, you know, we have this uh, juxtaposition. We understand <laughs> one another. Memes are, I'm going to start sending you random uncensored memes now. I want to join Perfect. the I want to be part of it. Excellent. Excellent. Um, before I wrap it up, before I let you go, because I don't want to keep you too, too long, but unless you yep. want to keep going, we'll keep going. But yep. um, if you have, I mean, anything that you would like to tell the Ontario uh, indie fans or, or the wrestling fans in general about how you're doing and, and how you're progressing and the fact that, you know, hopefully one day we'll see Hacker where Hacker wants to be again. Yeah. <laughs> I, Jesus Christ. I don't have anything to say to that. Well, I'm working hard. You're working hard. And that's perfect. Yeah. That's the best answer. Perfect. That really is the best answer. And um, I appreciate that. And uh, we're keeping you all in our prayers. And I hope one day I can make it down to your neck of the woods. You, <laughs> and, I can, you and I can crack open a, crack open a beer and just <laughs> shoot. Not a beer. Pepsi. Pepsi. Sorry? Pepsi. 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 Hey, listen, <laughs> I'll bring, I'm, I'm a Coke guy, but you know what? For you, I'll drink Pepsi. How's that? <laughs> I'll, I'll drink Pepsi Lime. No, just sure. Pe okay, Pepsi. I, I like Pepsi Lime. Pepsi Lime. Pepsi Lime is great. I think <laughs> it's an underrated flavor. It is. There you go. See, Pepsi Lime's good. Vanilla Pepsi wasn't bad. Uh, not a big fan. I believe they had like a cherry Pepsi. Not a big fan I, of that. That's one. gross. Okay, so cherry. <laughs> what about like cherry Coke? No, no, not at all. Sometimes. So, okay, so cherry Coke is better than cherry Pepsi. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you're not a Coke or a Pepsi guy. You're just whatever's there at the moment yeah right? okay see uh there are some people out there that are just straight and narrow what about did you ever try crystal clear pepsi back in the day i don't think so yeah no you don't want to and thank <laughs> god if you did ever try it and you don't remember it that's a good thing that is a very <laughs> good thing because it was absolutely horrible <laughs> but i'm glad to see you're working hard man and i'm glad that we had this you know 15 20 minutes to catch up and everything yeah. like that and um just to let you know that ontario indie wrestling has not forgotten we're always in our prayers and thank uh, you we appreciate everything man and i appreciate this 15 minutes i'm gonna go let you enjoy the rest of your day but i Perfect. promise you, i'm gonna make it up to your neck of the woods one day and you and i are gonna crack mm -hmm. over to pepsi and we're gonna send each <laughs> each other uncensored memes even though we're gonna be <laughs> one foot away from each other <laughs> right on all right my dude thank you so much man enjoy the rest thank of your you. day okay yeah all right guys that's it for this one it was a quick one but it was super sweet peace love and wrestling we'll see you next time peace Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to tune in next week for another great episode on all available podcast platforms and hosted on Podbean. Also, check us out on YouTube at Straight Talk Wrestling, on Instagram at Straight Talk Wrestling, on Facebook at Straight Talk Wrestling, and on Twitter at underscore Straight Talk. And if you feel the need to buy some sweet merch, check us out on ProWrestlingTees.com. Leaving the scene with no trace, none in my lead. You out of place, I'm not at the top, I'm outer space. Anywhere with us, we're out of place, I'm doing fine. I feel